Hello everyone and welcome back to Grand Skies 2. Last time we left off we were working on some mana stuff for Britannia. Uh, I've currently made ourselves a little mana spreader, another mana pool, and a few more sparks over a couple of our mana pools here. So that's going all nice and dandy. Uh, we need a few things today, so I'm going to get started on working on the Alfheim portal. So first thing we're going to need is I needed some Terra Steel Nuggets, so I made ourselves some Terra Steel, which is why we're a little bit lower on mana right now. Uh, but that's fine. So we're going to make ourselves the Elven Gateway Core. And what this does is this is the activating block for the Alfheim portal. This is how you turn it on or off. It goes right here in the middle of the bottom section, and then all you have to do is right-click it or left, right, right-click it to turn it off or on, off or on. Oh my god, tongue, cooperate please. Uh, and that's about that. Uh, the portal does drain from these two pools right here. Um, you don't need these, this setup to be extraordinary close. I just did not realize how cramped quarters I had, so that's why I'm in this situation. Uh, next thing we're going to need is we're going to need three pieces of glimmering living wood. And those go right here, here, and here. Now we're only missing one more component, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe that would be these, the natura pylons, which go on top of either of on top of both mana pools. So I need to make ourselves some mana pylons. So I need four mana steel, and two mana diamonds. Four mana steel and two mana diamonds. Something just made a lot of noise outside. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, okay, two mana diamonds. Got it. Okay, I'm just going to go get the iron from over there then. And then I need four pieces of gold as well. Okay, then what do I need for the Natura pylons? Any additional resources? Ender eyes. Okay. And some terra steel nuggets. I need six nuggets. I only used up three for the gateway course, so I should still have six. So pretty sure this this whole setup is made so that you don't have any extra leftover nuggets of terra steel, because Pretty sure they don't have very much use outside of this. Although I guess Natura Pylons are valuable for enchanting. Uh, they act as enchantment modifiers in place of bookshelves. Not entirely necessary, but I could see how people would prefer them. Uh, regardless. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. So, uh, I need to make the Mana Diamonds and Mana Steel. And then I need those Terra Steel Nuggets, which should be in here. Yep, six. Exactly. Perfect. That's what I thought. Mana Pylons. Can I scan you? Just out of curiosity. No. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, Ender Eyes. Terra Steel Nuggets. Can I scan you because you have uh, Ender Eyes in you? Nope. Okie dokie. In that case, let's just go put you on. Boop. And... Boop. Perfect. So, we should, theoretically, have everything we need to turn this thing on. Now, we are a little bit low on mana, but I'll be solving that issue relatively quickly. Uh, so... We just need a few more resources before I'm confident enough to turn this thing on. The first of which is I need some water runes. Water. There it is. So this will get me three. I only need two, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I just need the two. So, three is perfect. Uh, 
Uh, so what do I need? I need a fishing rod, three mana steel, a piece of bone meal, and a piece of sugar cane. I believe I still have bone meal in here. I do. Still have string in here too, so that's cool. I can make the fishing rod, no problem. Oh, that's not my string. There we go. Oop, easy peasy. Uh, three mana steel, so I'm going to get that from here. And what was the last thing? The last thing was a piece of sugar cane, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe that I am. I'm so confident, in fact, that I'm not even going to bother to check to see if I am correct. I'm just going to keep tripping on my tongue, because that is apparently something that I do. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Sugar cane, hello. Thank you for joining me. You will shortly be turned into a teeny piece of rock with some scribbles on it. So, enjoy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Natura pylons are apparently solid objects. Good to know. Pretty sure I already knew that, but... And you can get started. Yeah, that's going to take even more of our mana reserves, so that's a little bit scary. But we still have those two full pools right next to the ones that are being uh, used for the Alfheim portal, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Alrighty, so that's going to do its job, which is fine. This is technically still filling, so that's cool. That's going to take a while. Uh, while we're working on that, what else am I going to need for these things? So what I'm trying to make is, oh, I'm going to need mana pearls. I'm going to need two mana pearls. So let's go ahead and snag that right now. And then I'm also going to need two more mana steel. So two more mana steel. Two mana pearls, and that should be everything I need to make this thing once I have the portal open. If I'm not mistaken. I looked up the recipe just before starting this episode, so I'm pretty confident I'm correct. There we go. All right, you're ready. You're ready. Three of these. Just needed two. Okay, so now I'm in a relatively confident spot. Uh, you can keep this one. We only need these two. As a matter of fact, I can take these two components, put them in here. I'll keep these two on me. And we can fire this thing up. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. So let's do it. So the Alfheim portal is opening. And it is, it is open. So let's uh, toss our Lexica Batania in. And now we have Elven Gray, Elven, Elven Guard. Some notes from the elves. Best regards, the High Council of Elven Guard. Eh? So we now have access to new researches. I don't know what the Alfheim drones do. Hmm, I should look into that. Uh, but first and foremost, what I want to make so that we can keep this going is some pixie dust, which you use just by throwing some mana pearls in. The elves will be like, hey, thanks, we don't have those here. Have some pixie dust. You don't have that there. And I'm going to put you on here and you on here. So these are uh, recessive spark augments. Or not res these are dispersive? Is it not called recessive? Augment. Dispersive. Did I make the wrong one? Recessive. I did make the wrong one. Oh, man. Did I? Mana, manip mana manipulation sparks. Spark augmentation. Recessive. 
nearby mana pools, so I need recessive. I made the wrong one. Rune of Earth. I need more pixie dust. Could have swore it was the one that required water runes. Oh well. Okay, I gotta be a little bit quicker on this. So let's go ahead and grab our two mana pearls and... I can only make one right now because I only have one earth rune, but we'll make more. We'll make more eventually. So first things first. Is we go ahead and make the mana pearls. How quickly is this draining? Not very quickly at all. It by no means requires a lot of power. Uh, it mostly requires a large amount of power to turn on and turn off. So once it's on, it's very minimalist to keep running. So I'm probably just going to leave it running. Uh, I don't see any real reason not to. We have a system that can handle it pretty well. Okay, so we got a recessive one here, so that's what I'm going to put on you. And now that we have that, I'm going to move this guy up and on top here. Oop. And then the Gormerilis are going to start eating the epic bacon. Oh no, do they just keep eating? Uh-oh. I think they might just keep eating even when they're full. Like, are you eating all of this stuff and not letting the others have any? Yeah. That's what's happening. Oh man, that's terrible. Um, how do I stop this? So, Gormerilis are a little bit of a problem. I was really hoping that was gonna work. This guy's just gonna keep eating and wasting. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so see, he's not generating any mana, and the other ones aren't getting the mana. Oh, that's a big issue. Oh, I was so confident in this one, too. Well. Well, what are my options? What are my options? First and foremost, I should probably try to make another rune before the middle pool runs out of mana. So. Hmm. This is a problem though. It's eating all the bacon before the other ones have a chance at it. That is something that I don't know how to fix. I could separate them out more. Oh, I had an extra terror steel. Good to know. What am I here for? Yeah, I'm here for iron. So I could spread them out more and then have a golem drop, take from the from the barrel and drop onto the gore and drop into a hopper or into an open crate above each gormerilis. That's an option. It's a terrible option, but it's an option. Got my piece of stone. I'm making more earth runes right now just so I can make another recessive uh, recessive spark augment. 
to use on the middle pool so it can refill the ones that are supplying to the uh, Alfheim gates. And then I can remove the mana distributor because this guy is a huge bottleneck. So are these mana spreaders, so I'll be swapping those out soon as well. Man. I guess for now I can manually feed them. That work. Well, we got three going now. Does that make four? No? Yes. Okay, so... Uh... I mean, it works... ish. Uh, I just need to find a way to spread out the bacon a little bit more thoroughly. I can still use this setup for some endo flames, so that's... Not so bad. I just need to find a way to disperse this more evenly. <sighs> this is gonna be a task. Okay, um, that's okay. We're we're fine. Although now I know this, and I was gonna use a similar setup in FTB, so. Yeah, now we know. That's okay. Mana spreaders like that. Okay. Put all of this away. <sighs> These ones are holding up. Are you depleting or filling? I can't tell. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How am I going to do this? The simplest way would be to put the barrel up there, have some item ducks, then move all to a whole bunch of different open crates. The problem is it keeps eating them before it can reach the pressure plate. Is there a way that I can use... Hmm. Is there a way that I can detect how much mana is in the flower? A detector? A mana detector that detects when a burst goes through. Detector luminizer. Block update detector. Hmm. There's no timer, right? I could use... There's a clock, no? Extra utilities timer. Once a second. It's too frequent. I could trap the redstone signal in a loop. Uh, I mean, that's something. Uh, redstone. Redstone, let's see. Transmits a redstone signal. Okay. 
Oh, do comparators work? I wonder, can I, would a comparator tell me about, I don't think it would. We can try it, I suppose. Um, yeah, no harm in trying. I'm sure I'll find a use for a comparator, if not for this right now. If this works, that would be fantastic. I just hook a comparator up to every single, um, every single Gormerilis, and then we're good to go. Theoretically, if this works, then anytime it has mana, it'll output a redstone signal. I don't think this is going to work, to be perfectly fair, but it's worth a try. Actually, let's put it somewhere where I can... Okay, so, theoretically, it should be hooked up to this one. So, if I put that there, eventually this guy's going to fill up with mana. It is now filled with mana, and no redstone signal is being produced. Is it on the wrong way? I've never used a comparator. Comparator, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Is it one level too high? It might be a level too high. Okay, this is empty again. All right, I'll try that again. This one's emptying, so that's a thing. And that is not producing a signal. Yeah, nope. Um, budge. That was a mistake. All right, well, we are at time for today, so that's gonna have to do it for this one anyway. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And I do love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. I'm gonna give this one last try. Yeah, we got nothing. Okay, well, it was worth a shot.